we're back. We're doing oh. a pin test. You're in. You're on. We're doing a pin test. Uh, Mancy Hartson is here. She's the better half of Chad, who is just here. And um, we want to do some holiday autumnal pin testing. So um, first of all, show us your easy ones that are for sure pin wins. We know. Um, I went around the house and I grabbed anything glass. Mm -hmm. um, and I went into the pantry. I found dried uh, peas uh -huh. that you can buy in the bean aisle at your grocery store. I have whole pecans I found. I found some popcorn. And that's what we're looking at here. That is exactly. All I did, this is a glass from my cupboard. Mm -hmm. This is one of the jars that I use for canning. That used to have a candle in it. And I don't know where that came from, but... Right, we have a million of these types of things in our house, yeah, right? Yeah, anything glass will do. Uh, vases, vases would work. Oh, all right, take a look there. So. Okay, so these are easy. You dump it in and you yep. have got yourself a craft. Beautiful. Yep. It looks like you spent a lot of time and money and you, you, you really it. took two minutes around the house. Just the beans. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to look at something that is a pin fail. And here's why. You see the jar there with the leaves. Looks adorable. That worked out, but <laughs> that worked out. So first of all, if you're not a crafter, if you're, you, you put the leaves on the glass with Mod Podge. Be very careful not to buy paper mache Mod Podge, right? right? Right. You need it to work for glass. So when you tried this, it's a fail. Let's show you the it fail. It is a fail. It's, Two reasons it, why. It, it's a, such a fail that it fell off before we got up here. Um, part of the reason is because this leaf has lots of veins on it. It uh -huh. was one of those leaf garlands you find. Right, right. Um, so this, there isn't anything for this to stick to. The other thing that makes it hard is this jar has a lot of writing on it. Um, in so. retrospect, like a spaghetti jar that you ripped the wrapper off of, like the, the marinara. The marinara that Mary just used. Exactly. Rip the label off and we're good. And you're good to go. And pick flat leaves. Yes. Okay. I got these at the dollar store. I also, these aren't even, the, I mean, these are like foil. Okay. I did Love one it. of each. So this one is that has these leaves. So you place them and Mod Podge over it and you are donezo. Yep. And you can, some, you, this is what you, is a good tool to put Mod Podge on with. They cost like a dollar for a package right. of six. This one, um, I could kind of see the streaks from the Mod Podge. So I took some, some glitter paint that I had and just mm -hmm. put it over the top of it. So, um, and you could decorate that with uh, twine from your kitchen, mm -hmm. make a bow, Stick you know. Stick it on a piece of burlap, boom. Yep. yep, all done. Fancy. So, I love this next idea. Let's do this one, and all then we're, right. gonna, we're gonna finish up by uh, sliding Mary in here to show the three finishes here. So, okay. this is cool. I mean, they're all cool, but this is really cool. Okay. So, this is, as you called it, my mumpkin. It's a mumpkin idea. <laughs> I have trademarked and copyrighted that. <laughs> That's right. So, if you can't carve like Chad, um, which I can't. Um, he's in charge of all the pumpkin carving, but okay. I can do this. I just cut the top off. Uh huh. And you see this dirt in here? Oh, that's dirt. I okay. don't. I didn't even I scoop thought... the innards out. <laughs> I just kind of cut them and okay. left them down in the bottom. And I put some dirt in there. Okay. And you can just take your mom out for the fall. They're hardy. They will last outdoors. I am. Put in it love in with there. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's the way I finish anything in the house. That's right. That's all you have to do. All right. That is perfect. All right. I love this. Okay. And your business, The Better Half in downtown Napoleon, is yes. that correct? And all these ideas, you're doing all kinds of classes and crafts. Mary, can you slide in here real quick? Where You stay here. Okay. No need to go anywhere. Real quick, look at Mary's salmon. She's got that okay. dress. Ten minutes. 400 oven. Any fish you want, impress. I mean, it's just chicken. So easy. The chicken farm, which again, you can get adventurous. They had tricolored peppers, artichoke hearts, olives. Jazz it up for a little bit better presentation or whatever, but Beautiful. cook 101. And this is our braised short rib. And again, you could use an English cut roast, same premise. They're all on your web. And uh, she made them all here in like 15 minutes, 15 all of those dishes. So again, go to Rebecca Rainier Full Plate on Facebook, and we will link all of these uh, recipes, pictures, ideas, both of these businesses. So you have some uh, helping hands with our crafts and in our kitchen. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today. and. If nothing else, you can do this, right? The mumpkin, everybody. Thanks for watching. That is really cute. This made me hungry. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs>